Hi friends, good afternoon. In this video, I would like to explain Tax 004 Payment Threatened Message Concept. What are the content available in this PPT? Purpose of the Tax 004 message, scope of this message, message identifier, one small example, reject relation code. What are the fields available in Tax 004 message? These are all the information available for this PPT. Okay, we will look on this Tax 004 message purpose. Why we initiate for this tax 004 message? Whenever the beneficiary bank plan to return the payment to debtor bank on the time, the tax 004 message should be initiated. How it should be tracked? Based on this unique end-to-end -end transaction reference number and end-to-end -end identification reference number. Based on this number, the transaction should be tracked and sent back to the beneficiary bank to debtor bank. Whenever if you initiate this tax 008 or 9 message, on the time you need to return the payment or uh, return the payment they are used pack 004 message for returning the payment always it should be initiated from this beneficiary bank to debtor bank what are the scenario the pack 00 payment message should be generated in the invalid credit account number suppose the customer provide invalid credit, credit account number on the time the payment return will be happen credit account exists Suppose in case the credit account is temporarily closed, beneficiary account is temporarily closed on the time the payment should be returned. Any mandatory beneficiary name and address information is missing. On the time also payment return will be happen. Because whenever the beneficiary information is missing, um, we need to return the payment to debtor bank. So that reason we, we faced already show that so that beneficiary information is missing. So that reason we faced September 11, uh, September 11 attack from US. After all the bank, they should be mandatory maintained for this beneficiary address and the beneficiary name details. Trans transaction is forbidden. In transaction should be stopped condition. On the time, the payment should be returned. Dormant bank account. Suppose they are never used to that account in 24 months for any transaction. On the time, you can't able to do the transaction for this specific beneficiary account. These are all the scenarios. Pax 004 payment return will be happen. Scope of this message. This message is used for commercial payment purpose. MT equivalent for MT103 and MT202. It's used for cross border and international wire transfer return purpose. Reason for returning the fund from beneficiary bank to debtor bank. Next slide. Structure of this PAX 004 message. Actually, PAX 008, PAX 009, all should be the same format. PAX 004 also same format, but little bit difficult is there where the original group information and original transaction reference number. These two containers are extra containers available. Group container already said that message identifier number, creation date. These are the mandatory information available from group header. Transaction information you can able to see that creditor account number, debtor account number, creditor details, debtor details. These are the information you can able to see the transaction information block. Next block original group information block. In this block you can able to see that UETR and end to end identification number. Because without UETR and end to end identification number, you can't able to uh, pay, by, pay back the money to debtor. The returning purpose they are maintaining for this UETR number from UETR number and end to end um, identification number and settlement amount. These are the details. These are all the details in original group information container. Next container original transaction reference number. In this container, you can able to see the debtor and creditor informations. Next slide. How it should be identified. Suppose you can see the tax 004 message, how it should be look, how it should be identified. Tax 004.001.08. is called version of this tax message, tax 004 message. 001 is a variant. This variant it's come to that 99. After it's come to that 100, it's go to for 2. Payment return. 004 is a payment return. Tax means already we have this payment clearing and settlement message. Next slide. I provide a simple example for this PAX 004 message. Debtor initiate the transaction to creditor. In this scenario, debtor bank and creditor bank, they don't have a direct relationship. So that reason they are using for the instructing agent and instructed agent. Debtor send the money to instructing agent. After instructing agent send the money to instructed agent. Instructed agent transfer the money to creditor. Okay, this is the PAX 004 message. Transaction status should be updated in PAX 002. And a transaction statement report should be come for CAMP 054. Whenever, suppose the debtor think that we need to stop the payment on the time they initiate from PAX 004. Uh, otherwise, 
द क्रिटर अकाउंट इज क्लोज अकाउंट इनवैलिड अकाउंट डॉर्मेंट्री अकाउंट और फर्बिडन अकाउंट ऑन दिस टाइम देमेंट रिटर्न विल बी हैपन दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल नेक्स्ट ओके ऑलरेडी इज दट पेमेंट शुड बी हैपन हाउ द पेमेंट वेन द पेमेंट इज रिटर्न हाउ यू अवेयर एफ इट डेप्टर this reason only payment is return okay whenever the beneficiary bank return the payment on the time they are using for the return reason codes okay based on this code only the debtor bank can able to understand what purpose the payment should be returned from our end that detail should be available in reason code see this example uh, this is a pax 8 pax 8 message flow uh, debtor initiate the transaction after it's go to the creditor side okay once a creditor uh, check creditor after it's go to the creditor side beneficiary check all the all the account level validation uh, that account is invalid account or forbidden account or uh, credit account is closed state on the time they send the reason code they send the reject reason as well as the reason code reject reason you can able to see this pax 002 because this is the account statement pax 002 is for uh, payment status report on the payment status report you can able to see the reject reason tax uh, 004 should be show for reason code what reason they are reject the payment this is for reason code these are all the reason codes available from this pax 004 i should that ac 001 incorrect account number in case the account number is incorrect on the time the reject should be given invalid credit account number closed account number blocked account number invalid debit account type invalid agent invalid details change charged interbank's operation code should be wrong zero account not allowed amount duplication insufficient fund these are all the reason the rejection will be happen the rejection should be happen these are all the reason you can able to see only for the code after the code you you search the net otherwise you you inbuilt the system is provide this details next i provide one sample example for pax 00 return flow Actually, the custom, we know need to send the 15k A to Rahul. We know from India, Rahul from A, Rahul from UAE. We know the bank is SBA, debit card agent bank, but Rahul bank is City Bank, UAE, credit card agent bank. In these two bank, debit card agent bank and credit card agent bank, both they don't have a direct relationship. So the reason they are approaching for the instructing agent bank and instructed agent bank. Debtor say they are approaching for the instructing agent bank. Creditor say they are approaching for the instructor agent. Fine. They we know approach for their own bank, debtor agent bank SBA, and send the money to 15k ED. Again, it's go to the instructing agent. Instructing and send the instructor to instructor agent. Instructor agent after transfer the in, in, uh, transfer the amount to creditor agent bank. Okay. In this creditor agent bank, they check the account number. Okay. Uh, we know account number. That account number is invalid. Otherwise, the account is the account is forbidden account. The account number is closed stage. On the time, what will they do? That just return the money to the debtor side who initiated the transaction. That person get the repayment of money. On the time, they do the pack zero zero five return. This is a simple example. All already I said many PPTs same kind of example. Who is ordering customer? We called example debtor. Ordering institution fifty two A. We called debtor agent. Uh, sender correspondent bank. We called instructing agents. Uh, receiver correspondent bank. We called instructor agent. Account with institution. We called creditor agent. Benefit to be called fifty nine A creditor. Here we know is a ordering customer. I tell that ordering customer. S B A is a ordering institution. That bank we called uh, example side we called uh, debtor agent. The sender correspondent bank I C C fifty three A. M M T we called a uh, uh, sender correspondent. M X we called instructing agent. Uh, receiver correspondent bank fifty four A. Uh, that that is for uh, Fab U A E. Uh, M X we called instructor agent and account with institution fifty seven A. That is a creditor bank. City Bank UAE beneficiary is called 59A in this MX we call creditor. You, you can refer this pack, any pack zero zero eight pack zero zero eight message format. Just go to the link and uh, search what are the features available. This is this PPT also I provide already. I will share what are the mandatory field available from this empty message and how it should be mapped. This kind of information available in this last slide. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly share your comments and provide your support for this channel. Thank you so much.